Hey everyone, I'm Rob Genovese. I'm the Regional Advisor on Culture here for the Master Network's New York, Connecticut region. And I just wanted to produce this video to give you a quick explanation of what's coming out and what accompanies this. And that's a new set of guidelines for exclusivity. Now, in leading chapters, I know we've all encountered this, where there is a little bit of stickiness around exclusivity. And yes, we know that the explanation is that there is, we are an exclusive organization, that there's one member per industry seat per chapter. And that being said, we also know that we do take lanes. And so that means that insurance industries will split the lanes, life insurance, uh, personal lines, commercial lines, and so on. Same thing with law, same thing with the finance industry. We know this, but even still, because we're such a great community of chapters, we are constantly visiting other chapters and we encourage that. We wanna create this openness to be able to have people freely network. But that does come with a little kind of a, some stickiness involved in that. When visiting another chapter, sometimes there are conflicts, sometimes there are overlaps. And sometimes it's a little unclear as what is our behavior supposed to be like? What can we do? What can we not do? What can we say? What should we not say? And so we just wanted to make sure very clearly here at the advisory board and you know, it's me and then seven other people uh, led by Tina Campbell and Sammy Vecchiola uh, who formed this board in order to serve you better, in order to make the most out of the membership. We want to be able to make sure that people can openly network while still not creating any tension in relationships. And so we felt it was necessary to draft a set of guidelines on exclusivity that we can live by so that we can network harmoniously and not step on anybody's toes or create any tension between any members. So along with this video, you've got a draft of these guidelines. And I just wanna say something first off. The idea behind these guidelines is to make it very clear to everybody what this means as far as exclusivity within our community. And to make it very clear that we want people to move freely throughout the chapters. So the underpinning of these guidelines comes down to one thing. That one thing is respect. It's respect for one another as business owners, but more so as people. You know, the one thing that's very special about the New York, Connecticut region that makes us the envy of all of Master Networks nationwide is that we do have this community, this strong sense of uh, camaraderie and friendship and family throughout all the chapters and we want to preserve that while still being able to do business so that respect is probably the key thing that I want you to keep in mind as you read these guidelines and as you execute and teach on these guidelines that even though sometimes it may seem like we have a right to go into another chapter and say what we do it's all about respect Respect the seated member in the home chapter you're visiting. Respect for one another back and forth. If we always keep that in mind, then actually executing on this should be very easy. So what does this mean for your chapter? Well, we want you to be able to take these guidelines and read them and internalize them. But in your chapter meetings, at the very beginning, we want exclusivity to be explained, not just stated that we have exclusivity, but it should go something more like this. Hey everybody, welcome to our chapter of Master Networks. I just wanted to give everybody a heads up that we are an organization of exclusivity. And what that means is we have one member per industry seat per chapter. Although we do break it down into lanes. We break down insurance lanes, personal, commercial, life, and so on, as we do with finance and legal and anywhere else it applies. So what I want you to do as, as we do the sound bites of all the members here of this chapter, we'd like you to please listen very closely. We want you to listen to the sound bites. And if you hear somebody who does what you do, please, out of respect, please just state your name and where you're from. Now, if you do that, that's much more succinct in giving people an idea of what they should be doing. As opposed to if we just say we honor exclusivity, people don't know what that means tactically. So we have to tell them to make sure that they listen and listen to each soundbite of each member in that chapter. 
and to understand that if they do hear somebody who does what they do, that they should just say their name and where they're from. And according to the guidelines written therein, I'm simplifying it. But that's basically to make sure that they understand what that means for them visiting a chapter. Now what that means for guests, non-members who come to chapters, well that basically means that yes they should listen to, but there's a little bit more forgiveness there. They're new, they don't totally understand what we're doing, and they're just trying to figure out what the heck is going on here. So we cut them a little bit more slack. But visiting members, for sure, they should understand these guidelines and understand the exclusivity as we set them out. And one more thing I'd like to point out. It is a very good best practice before any member should visit another chapter to go in and check the hub, to look at the roster on the hub for a particular chapter they're looking to visit and see if there is somebody there who holds their seat. And if there is, and you still want to visit, to check with that member, to have a conversation before you go there and say, hey, I notice we have some overlap. Is there a way we can work it out so that I can visit and not step on your toes? Again, with the understanding that respect is there. That is the best thing to do, a best practice, to always reach out to that seated member in that chapter and find out if they're okay with it. Again, we want to maintain our relationships. It's the underpinning of everything we do. And so as chapter presidents and leadership, we'll ask that if everything should be pretty clear in these guidelines, but if it's not, reach out to your area director and have a conversation with them just to make sure we're all on the same page. This has become a very sensitive area, but we wanna make it so that we can all play nicely and we could all do business and we could all increase the quality of our relationships together. Remember, we are not a group of chapters across a region, this is community of a sisterhood and a brotherhood of chapters of teams of people working together because in a spirit of abundance we want to be able to openly network and add value to each other's lives thank you very much